Chrysalis grounded her teeth as she fumed at her latest failure. Twilight Sparkles was still alive despite her best intentions. Chrysalis counted her lucky stars that she had made it an unscathing and unim unimprisonable. She really would have liked to return with at least a crystal heart, though. It would have looked lovely on her mantelpiece and have made an excellent consolation prize. She grasped a quill and list in her magic and read it silently. Let's see, kill Twilight Sparkles? Well, that was a bust. She crossed it out and put an X next to it. All right, let's see. What's next on the list? Chrysalis Grimace split into a smile as she read the next, as she read the next item. Next is kill a puppy in celebrations. Well, maybe I can't do it in celebrations, but I could do it to lift my mood. She placed the list and quill on the table and left her quarters to enter the great hive area. Outside were scores of changelings in unusual high spirits, conversing about whatever it was this common changeling conversed about. She didn't really get involved in the affairs of her subjects. Chrysalis raised an eyebrow. That's strange. I thought they'd be more dejected than this. She finally reached the, ba the puppy bureau, sitting at the table where two changelings she knew. Well, their names were Forn and Zorn, and they seemed to be doing an awful amount of paperwork. Chrysalis stood at the table for a little bit, watching them work, growing even more irritated. She decided to clear her throat, at which Thorn and Zorn jumped and put on the most obvious, insincere smile she ever saw. Ah, Thorn said, Hello, my queen. What can we do for you th today? Chrysalis grunted. I'd like a pup. Zorn leafed the paperwork. Now, will that be to love or to kill? To kill. I have a bit of stress to relieve, and I'd like to do it quickly if you don't mind. Four nodded and paged through his own set of papers. Ah, yes. I think I remember you putting in a reservation for a, uh, ah, yes. Zorn picked up a stamp piece of paper. A chihuahua. Chrysalis nodded. Indeed. The squeals they make as I snap their neck really helps me get out of a bad mood. And, Chrysalis said as she leaned into Thorn, I'm in a terrible mood. Thorn gulped and nodded. Of course. I'll get your reservations out for you now. He went to the back room. Chrysalis tapped her hoof as Zorn kept making documents. So, Chrysalis asked, All the changelings seem to be in high spirits. Indeed they are, Zorn said with a smile. There are a lot of pa puppies entering the p gates of paradise as we speak. You mean a lot of puppies with snapped necks? Chrysalis interjected. That too. Thorn emerged from the back room, his, fla his face blanched, and without a puppy, Chrysalis glared at Thorn. Well? Thorn scratched the back of his neck. Well, it seems uh, we... We what? Chrysalis stomped a hoof on the ground. We may have overshot our projection, and... Thorn bowed his head deeply. I'm sorry, my queen, but we're out of puppy Sakiel. Chrysalis' eyes popped open. What do you mean? There are no puppies to kill. No chihuahuas? Thorn shook his head. No shih tzus? Thorn shivered and gulped. No. Chrysalis gulped, gasped. No corgis? No, my queen. We're out of puppies. Of the killing kind of puppies. 
Chrysalis growled as she snatched up Thorn in her magic, her chest heaving in and out as she eyed down Vorn, who shook in a, like a leaf. Chrysalis took in a deep breath and placed Vorn down. Well, no need to make a mountain ho out of a molehill. Just get me a puppy to love. I'll have to repurpose it to suit my needs. Zorn raised his head. Are, are you sure? The lovable breeds are... I said get me a puppy to kill! Zorn jumped, nodding, and entered the back room. He emerged with a golden poodle in his magic. Chrysalis licked her lips as she gasped it, grasped it in her own. Thank you, Zorn. This will do. Chrysalis turned around and headed out to her room. This will do quite nicely. Chrysalis stared at the golden, golden doodle puppy, golden poop, golden poodle puppy that currently jumped on her foreleg as its tail tickled ma rapidly and its tongue waggled to and from its positively brushy, bushy face brimming with delight. She had brought her puppy back to her private quarters in order to kill it and she intended to do so. But as the puppy wrapped its paws around her ankle and stared into her eye, she realized something. I can't. I can't. It's so cute. Chrysalis embraced the puppy and slowly siphoned its love, careful not to accidentally murder it. The puppy slobbered, licked her face, caused her to giggle with glee, until she felt a wet warmth trickle down her body. She sniffed detective, ding the foul scent of dog urine. She grounded her teeth and grabbed the puppy's head, fully intended on snapping it. But the smile on his face melted her heart because it was just too precious. It was just a puppy after all. It needed to be potty trained. Chrysalis let go and watched the puppy leap onto her bed, circling around three times before it made itself comfortable. She'd worry about the paperwork later. The puppy needed a name. She sat down, put her thinking cap on, stroked her chin while she stared at the golden lump on her bed. Now what to name you? Name, name, name. She racked her brain until a name came to her. Her face exploded with mirth. I'll name you Name, she said, as she stood up petting Name. What do you think of that? Name looked up and barked in approval before resting its head down. On, down. Chrysalis smiled. Yes, Name. It is a wonderful name.